Is this the usual DMK rhetoric or is it a carefully constructed statement aimed at 2026? Let us debate. Let me welcome the experts, Salem Dharani Dharan, spokesperson for the DMK is with us and also Suresh Kochatil, who is a senior political analyst is with us. Uh, very warm welcome to both of you. Dharani Dharan, let me come to you first. Your name is also not Tamil name, Dharani Dharan, is it? It is Sanskrit. Anyways, some certain things I do not have hold over. Yeah. But leave all that. He only said, I request people to consider having, I mean, con the newlyweds to have the name of the children in Tamil. I request to consider. What does it mean? I request to consider. I do not think why anything has to be looked on to. But this. he also added, if you listen to the bite, Dharani Dharan, I am not taking yeah. something out cherry picking to create a big thing. I am a Tamil. Let us not forget. There are great Tamil names like Malar and Kanimuri. We have all grown up with names like that. So, what if my name is not Tamil name? Does not matter. Like you said, I did not have any control over it. But he also added to the imposition of Hindi. I am very amazed that the Deputy Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu keeps raising the bogey of imposition and he has said it in the past. His father, the Honorable Chief Minister, Mukha Stalin has said in the past, we are not against Hindi, we are against the imposition of Hindi. Let us take Mr. Uday Nidhi's name for instance. I can turn around and say, is your name Tamil name? Udaya Nidhi, his grandfather, Karuna Nidhi. These are all Sanskrit names. And where did Stalin come from? Stalin name, Stalin's name came from Joseph Stalin. Apparently, Mr. Stalin was born four days before or after and Kalingir was at a condolence meeting and he said, I am going to name my child Stalin. So, you know, you have to look inward sometimes instead of, you know, going on and on about this. So, all I am saying is Hindi imposition, fine. Tamil Thai, the song, fine. It was and they apologize, Raj Bhavan apologize. Do not you think there is a bit of a hypocrisy going over the top about this name them Tamil, give them Tamil names. I mean, come on, I am the parent, like you did not have control no, no, over. See, see, see. I think you are yeah, reading too much. As I again said, I have to reiterate, you only said it, it was only a suggestion, I request to consider. That is all, I do not think why things have been take, blown out of the proportion. See, the whole crisis, crisis on this matter was done by the governor. He went there, uh, the Dravidan was missing in the Tamil Thai world, hmm. right? But why did not make it an issue? Okay, it could have been and one off incident, right? It could have been, sure. they, they did not notice it. The fact of the matter is, at least this governor for the last two years has given more than two dozen interviews saying Dravidam does not exist. So, it depends on again who this is the first time it is happening. No, he has been continuously doing it. And again, what did he speak then? He, he even he went down, he went there and uh, spoke that there is a clear attempt to divide India. The uh, Tamil Nadu has been kept away from India. Uh, the people in Tamil Nadu are not able to properly integrate with India. I think it's completely all this is a wrong statement for a simple reason. I have data to say that there are 1 million people migrating into Tamil Nadu from northern states. Highest inflow of migrants comes into Tamil Nadu, which means we are clearly integrated. Ex servicemen, right. highest number of ex Tamil Nadu ranks the high, highest, one of the highest when it came to number of ex servicemen and number of men serving the army. So, which means we are patriotic. All we are saying is do not impose Hindi. And I will give you an example how are the how is Hindi being imposed. Yes. Example number one, right? The re recently, the food, co food um, agency of the union government said, in the milk in, in curd packets, yeah. you should not be mentioned. Dahi should be mentioned. That we consider as the imposition. The uh, Kendra Vidyala schools do not in Tamil Nadu do not have Tamil teachers. It was replied by the union government to a question asked by Trichy Shiva, the MP, right? And they said, oh, there were no takers. How can there be no takers when you teach Sanskrit, when you teach Hindi, when you teach English? Three languages are taught in Kendra Vidyala schools in Tamil Nadu, but there are no Tamil teachers. This we have a problem. <laughs>